Let's summarize 2017. So the year started off in a, what I would say a great way. We celebrated last New Year in Courmayeur, Italy. Then back to reality. I flew back and forth from Stockholm to Copenhagen 36 times because of work. It was a lot of fun, but I really missed Stockholm. Then me and some friends went to Sefsen, which is a small little town in northern part of Sweden. And we went cross-country skiing, which was super tough, but very, very beautiful. Into the Swedish winter, I felt really sick about the cold, so I booked a ticket to Puerto Rico to go sailing, and I accidentally ended up in a private plane. The Caribbean, of course, was super duper nice. However, we sailed through the Bermuda Triangle, which was, um, I would say, a bit tougher. It was right then and there where I decided I should resign from Deloitte and move to Shanghai to start my own business. So I did the last work as a consultant for Deloitte, which was, yeah putting together the financial statement for a small little firm called Spotify. But before traveling to Shanghai, summer. We celebrated the Swedish National Day, which was a lot of fun. We ended up celebrating Sture Hof 120 years anniversary. <laughs> Stuhlhof is a, yeah, it's a restaurant in the center of, of Stockholm. And me and my friend celebrated midsummer in the beautiful Swedish archipelago. And that was... Yeah. In the middle of the summer I flew down to Lyon to meet my family that sailed through the canals of France. I fell in love with Sancerre and goat cheese and then off to the next destination. Me and my best friends spent one week at Mallorca, Spain, and yeah, basically we spent the whole week in that pool. Then back to Sweden, where I paddled through the Swedish archipelago with my best friend CJ. my bags and then bought a one-way ticket off to Shanghai. It was right there and then where I started vlogging and oh my god it was tough but really really fun. So in Shanghai I made a lot of new friends, met a lot of cool people and of course took a bunch of selfies with a lot of lovely Chinese people. I got a puppy together with Tiffany, I went to a lot of parties, did a little bit of running and of course I danced. Today I'm taking care of fun. I studied a lot of Chinese, I launched a bike sharing service in Stockholm that went pretty great. And then I did a little trip to Beijing where I ended up interviewing the Swedish ambassador. Then back to Shanghai and spent endless hours at the tailors. 
In order to create the perfect piece, I also spend a lot of time trying to start a company in Shanghai, which is pretty tough. I'm not there yet, but soon, soon, I hope it will be finished. But in order to keep me fueled, to keep me pumped, to get me energized, I went to the world's largest Starbucks. And I also skated through Shanghai in a red suit. It was kind of dangerous. Don't try that at home, kids. I got an email from Peter McKinnon. I met a bunch of cool YouTubers here in China. And, and we, we are YouTubers. <laughs> I'm here with my boy, Radio the Artist. <laughs> and I got a motivation speech from Serpenza. You're doing very well. He's the biggest YouTuber in China. 2017 has been the best year of my life. It's been the toughest year. I've never worked so hard in my life. But it's also been the best year because I've done whatever I wanted exactly the whole year. So that's what I wanted to say to you. If you wanted to do something, do it now. Because life is short. Any given moment, your life can be taken away from you. And you don't know if it's today or tomorrow or in 10 years. So why not do whatever you want to do now.